That's right, folks. We're going to be playing Lost Lands, The Golden Curse. This is another beta 5BN. I believe that's the name of the developer. One of my all-time favorite developers. I love these guys. These guys make some fantastic games. Whew, let's get into this. Let's play. We've got easy, we've got normal, and hard. I love how the volcano is like more angry when we're on hard. Love it. Touch it! Oh man, we knew that was going to be a problem. I really like her hair, is that a problem? I can't help myself. Anyways, we're back with a character that we do recognize from the earlier Lost Lands games. Looks like you had Leprechaun going on there. You had a little bit of a harpy action going on. Kind of curious to see how this is going to turn out. It's possible to interact with certain elements. Move the twig. Look at how pretty this looks. I love it. Goodness, these games get better and better graphically. <laughs> I'm impressed. The return. Looks like it's happened again. I can't be sure, but I think I've returned to the Lost Lands. I wonder what happened this time and who summoned me. Near this portal, there's a palisade with a gate. I can see smoke coming out from there and hear a crowd of people. I hope. Someone there can explain to me why I'm here. Alright, get these out of here. Cravens, don't go! I want to talk to you. Throughout the game, you'll find manuscripts describing the history of the Lost Lands. Okay, cool. Druid Village, tiny settlement at the edge of the forest set up by the Guild of Forest Druids, inhabited mainly by men who study and practice magic, alchemy, astronomy, potion brewing, and other sciences. As in any other society, the Guild is led by an elder. The last one joined the community 20 years ago. Severely wounded, he was brought to the village after a battle with the dark forces threatening the Lost Lands. The druids took him in and he stayed at the guild and eventually became its leader, a job he still has today. Whew. Hammerhead. Guess we're not going to jump over there, are we? I'm not stuck yet, game. Fine, I'm stuck. The tutorial made me be stuck. Hammer time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Where'd this rock come from? I love it. Did we use one of these steps to do that? That was so cool. 
This is the portal which brought me here. It's a puzzle. Something seems to be missing here. Hmm. Oh no, it just took my picture. <laughs> and I can't reach it? Dang, dang, dang. These planks are covering up a hiding place. I'll need something to remove them, like a crowbar. Fine, hammer it is. Crowbar would have worked too. Got me some nails, got me some planks, got me, got me, got me a knife, and a baseball bat. Oh, that's a pickaxe handle. Sure, that's what we'll go with. Nails! Go, 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 go! Oh yeah, smack them nails. Legit, we did it. So, we have to still do this xylophone thingy. We need two more of those. Okay, okay, birdies. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Okay, the game looks incredible. My goodness, girl, what are you doing down there? Oh, hi! You won't hurt me, will you? Please help me. I hid in this wall from a scary winged demon and now I can't climb out. Can you think of some way to help me? I'm so cold and scared. Mm, I don't know, maybe we'll just leave you there. Ha ha. Congratulations, some locations have hidden figurines. You've just found the first one. Try to collect all of them. Gotta get those collectibles. Floating islands. The system of floating islands and rocks concentrated in one area in the sky above this part of the lost lands. Nobody remembers how or when these islands appeared here, but an old men say that this is the work of an ancient order of madmen. If you don't have wings, there's only one way to get to the floating islands, through a forest portal. It was created by a druid guild, especially for travel to the islands, and they are the only ones with the key. Hmm. This must be a horse trough, but it ran out of water, so the horses are all over there. Man, that's a lot of horses. I can't go any farther. The horses are blocking the path because there's water there. I need to lure the horses away. The blackthorn twigs are so thorny I can't break them with my bare hands. How about a... No. No. Get out of there. Ah. Um. Uh. How about this? Okay, so I think we're going to have to build that axe. So how am I going to spin this around? The hoist is missing its handle. I need to find another way to turn it. Hmm. Honestly, don't know. Ooh, this is collectible area. This is story area. And what's this bag all about? This is my purse. All the things fell out from it while transitioning through the portal. All of them need to be found. Oh, that's so cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look at our map here. Oh, yeah. Loving the map. <gasps> There's a morphing object. I missed it here. Where is it? You know, there's a morphing object here somewhere. Hmm. No, that's not it. Found it. Snail. You morphed, buddy. Which means there's another morphing object here, too. Horsey, horsey, horsey! 
The loop is firmly attached to the saddle. I'm gonna have to cut it. Cut, cut. My rope. Why do you have handprints on your butt, dear horse? Hmm. I just saw you morph. Can we throw a rope down there? Yes, we can. Tied up to a horse. Of course. Go, horsey, go. <laughs> Nicely done, horse. Thank you so much for saving me. I'm Fiora. See that mountain far away? That's the volcano Mount Bashar in the Dark Lands. There's a fortress there with statues. I was playing there as usual, but today something really scary happened. One of the statues came to life. I got so scared that I ran away without looking back and hid in this well. Um, and who are you? You're dressed so pretty. What? From another world? Oh, great! Welcome to the Lost Lands. If you want to learn more about our world, talk to my great-grandpa. He's the elder of the Druid Guild. It's not far from here in the forest. The village gates are locked, of course, to keep strangers out, but my great-grandpa gave me this password. Ooh, sheet music. Cool, cool. Oh, this is my picture. I drew my favorite doll. Her name is Blossom, but I dropped her into the well when I hid from that winged demon. The picture's all I have left now. Aww. All right, it's gathering up the bits and pieces here. We now have some music. Play that funky music. Uh, seven. Open says me. Haha, -ha, we get to go inside. Oh, gods! What happened here? Look, my great grandpa's sitting by the fountain. Oh, grandpa, great grandpa, what have we going on here? I can't believe my eyes. It's you. you Remember who? me, Maren? It just so happens that we need your help again. Oh. Where to start? This morning, a harpy attacked us. It has been petrified for ages, but it came to life today. Anyone who might have been able to protect the Lost Lands has either run away or perished, or is busy tending the wounded. There is no time to discuss the nature of this monster, or where it came from. You will learn in time. But for now, please go to Mount Bashar. Fiora will show you where the petrified demons rest. Take a good look around that place. I want to know how that harpy managed to free itself. I'll stay here in case it returns. One more thing. If you find any gold, do not touch it, no matter what. That gold is cursed. It's the golden curse. Ooh, name of the game right there, folks. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to grab a bunch of stuff. Oh. We need an axe. Man, One that's... of our brothers wounded the harpy with this spear. Her blood is on the weapon. I was just going to say, that's a bloody looking spear there. Oh no, what happened to dude here? Oh my gosh, look at the scratches. This poor druid was wounded by harpy claws. Now he's poisoned. And we don't have an antidote. Hmm. That's bad. This is the Elders' Hall. I live there now. The latch is stuck. I need a lever. Oh, we have clippers here. Clipping, clipping, clipping. Hmm. Got some stuff in the way here. 
Marone, the elder of the Druid Guild. Just a couple decades ago, he was known as Marone the Hermit, and he lived in another forest in the distant part of the Lost Lands. One day, he was heavily wounded in the fight against the Dark Horseman. His closest friend, the Dwarf Falnor, brought Maroon to Druin Village to save his life. Now nobody calls Maroon a hermit anymore, and he has taken over as the Druid Guild Elder. His chambers are located just off the village's main square. Yep, he was in a previous game. Uh, not sure what else I gotta do here. This is the Relic Repository, our most precious place. Map it up. Well, apparently there's something going on here. Okay, move the brackets and drop the balls so that they land in each pipe once. Uh, sure. How do I make it work? Nope. You fail. Fail, 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 fail. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so close. Get trapped there. Ah, uh, let's see what this does. Dang, dang, dang. How about that? I like that I can just sort of uh, mess around with this and not have to get too fussed about it. Let's try. Oh yeah, beautiful. We got the fountain on. Somehow that's important. And we have water for the horses too. So we... You just gotta be able to figure out how to carry the water now. Hmm. I don't really want to go here. Why? Something over here. Apparently we're gonna clip the bucket off of its chain. Of course we are, that way we can get some water. Cool, cool. I can deal with that. Gather up some beautiful, tasty water for our beautiful horses. And go back. Or not. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Slurp, slurp, horses! This is how hidden object zones are marked. Glitter. All the best glitter. Yay. Oh my goodness, take that, take that. What a mess. Something in the skull's eye is a trucking the craven. Where's my morphing object? Cannonball. Oh, that does not fit here. Oh no. We busted it. How do I get that out of there? Nope, cutting doesn't want to work. Hammer? Yep. There we are. 
And then we gotta pound that back in, I think. <laughs> That's so cool. Love it. We can't break that wide open. A stone feather. Uh, no, I'm not sure what you want me to do with that one, game. Hmm. Let's look at our clicky clicky. We got more. Light it up, up, up. What else you got going on here, game? Gotta put something in there. Bumblebees. Honey, horses, tooth, rapid healing herbs. Uh, oh my gosh. We got it. Piece of cloth. Uh, hmm. Maybe we smoke them out of there. There we go. My beehive. Whoa, we just cut that thing right in half, did we? Hmm. Put that in there. Dragon powder goes in there. So we're still missing something. Hmm. Got a jar of this, a jar of that. Need a tooth. Which one is going to offer up a tooth? Aha, you are. Put that in there. A little bit of that, which is basically looks like <laughs> worms. Close it up. Green goo. It's so tasty. What else we can we do here? We got roses. My goodness. Hello. Load it up. Oh boy. An old water tower. Yeah, cool. Got myself a lever too. Alright map, tell me what you got for me. Let's go here. Halt a while and read this. Oh stranger, I, I the keeper of this graveyard in the 13th generation, lie here among my halfling ancestors and those of other strains. My whole life gardening was my trade and I was the groundskeeper at the graveyard. I am the last in my line and there is nobody to continue my work. Oh stranger, if you will help to beautify these graves, they will reveal their secrets to you in gratitude. 